Hello, Highland Hound here. So, I noticed a lot of people asking um, a Minecrafter by the name of Grian, uh, I'll put a link to his YouTube channel in the description, to recreate one of his builds on um, Hermitcraft, his Hermitville um, wonky house. Now, of course, I can't do an exact replica, you know, no one could build like that. So I'm just gonna try my best to create that kind of feel. Now one thing that Green said a lot when he was doing his build, slash is doing his build because of the time frame that I'm watching his videos at, is he said um, he felt like it was gonna topple over any second. Uh, which made me kind of want to make mine look a little bit more stable. Um, so let's get into it. So as you can see, currently I'm just trying to get a nice little small base structure, maybe a little bit larger than your normal villager house. Uh, I know that Green's was a bit smaller in the build, but of course I'm not going to go hunt down a village just for the sake of it. Um, he had this like weird little side piece, but I liked it. Um, it it fit in actually really well. I still don't know why he built that, but I, I liked it, so I kept it. <laughs> now, what I did slightly differently was I gave this front panel a bit more of a dimension and a shape, because watching some of his other videos to try and get an idea of his style uh, a bit better is that he really, really likes to have a lot of different... Um, different sticky out points. I forget what he refers to them as, but I really liked it. Um, and you can see here I'm trying to put in a little bit of a uh, window plant part. Uh, and then I realised that I had done it one too many forward, so it looked a bit odd from the side and from the front actually. So then I just took it one block back um, added some fence posts just to give it that little bit of stability, took those front sections in and uh, yeah then I started to mess around a bit more with the whole structure of the build, you know give, making that side section stick out a little bit more, uh, adding a tiny bit of a roof which you'll notice that I switched the way I do the roof because I was trying to stick as close to his style of building um, as I could whilst also keeping it to my personal taste and he actually does a roof like that I really like but I've never used before and I thought it looked really smart so I went with it instead of going with my normal roofs. Uh, you can see I'm just currently just structuring out everything, uh, adding a little bit of a design here and there. This was, I'd spent a lot of time switching between <laughs> a couple of different things trying to work out what matched. I had originally put some oak blocks in my inventory, but I realised that it wasn't oak blocks that he'd used. Um, it can't just add a bit more of a roof. Now as I said, I'm not doing this the exact same as his. Um, I was just kind of trying to go for a little bit more of a style as opposed to an actual exact replica, because doing an exact replica would have meant that there were too many tiny rooms that you couldn't do anything with. Um, I also decided to, another thing that he was uh, a bit iffy about doing was trying to decorate every single room in that building because he realised that the way he'd built it, none of the rooms were connected so I was determined to make that a part of mine um, and you'll, yeah, you can kind of, if you go and watch his video you'll see where I, uh, where I was gaining inspiration from but um, mine was a lot more polished if you will whereas his was higgledy piggledy and trying to fit in where it could because of course he was building between up two other people um, I didn't have as much of a concern with that I was just going at my own pace doing what I wanted to seeing what worked what didn't um, and one thing that I really wanted was a lot of volume I wanted a lot of different shapes a lot of nice contrast even though I was using a very simple palette. Um, you can notice that I'm changing some of the edges um, and adding a bit of a further dimension by using those dark oak um, dark oak materials 
just to um, give it a nice deep contrast because spruce is like a medium shade in terms of wood uh, so dark oak worked really well as a complementary colour um, you can see that I'm building a slanted roof there because again that's another feature that he was using a lot was slanted roofs and the apex, uh, yeah, apex roofs I think they're actually called um, I decided to add a little bit onto the back as well because I wanted this to look odd from all angles I wanted it to look funky and um, when I was building this I thought a lot about the uh, house in Harry Potter um, which is something that I really should have been looking at references to because that's exactly what I thought as soon as I saw Grian's build was the, um, the Weasley's house from Harry Potter but anyway continuing I wanted to make that tower on the right hand side looking at the house the shortest tower yeah he, th this is during a time when Grian was in a build, build off against Mumbo and Iskal and then someone, I can't remember who the other guy is, uh, Scar, good times with Scar, uh, I'll link all of them down in the video so that you can go and check out their kind of building style. You can see I'm just stepping back, checking out what I'm doing, uh, adding another apex roof I think. Or did this? No, I was just this. No, that was a slant slash an apex roof. Because um, I decided to add a slight one step up kind of level. So, yeah. It added a bit of a weird asymmetrical shape, but I thought it looked really, really nice in contrast to an even apex roof, which I think would have looked a little bit boring. Uh, following on from that, I was adding some steps on the bottom there. You can see at the back even though I'm moving this very quickly um, I was moving a lot of those steps underneath so that it didn't just look like a sharp cut off it actually looked like it was connected bit by bit S stairs on the bottom of a block can do that really well um, yeah I decided that I changed my mind about which one was going to be the shortest actually, now, now that I'm actually looking back at the video. Yeah, that one was kind of like less of an actual one. Um, moving on anyway, uh, I was building the chimney, I was trying to add a bit of a top block, um, oh and then those to just break it up a little bit because it looked really blocky and um, I don't know. It looked chimney like but I liked those um, and then I realised <laughs> that I'd done them off center so I went back and I fiddled around with them and then I just decided to leave them. Uh, I also decided to take that down just just, just to a half slab because a full block looked a bit too chunky on top. Um, then you can see I'm carving out some of the interior um, and just filling it in here and there. I will be getting around to decorating the interior in a bit um, but for now uh, I was trying to make it go more central so that there would be areas sticking out of it but the central point would still be starting to get slimmed down so it wasn't just this straight tower um, because that's one thing that Grian's house did very well was it wasn't just one straight tower it had lots of bits sticking out from it um, which I of course couldn't replicate because I'm trying to make this into an actual livable kind of build, you know, a group build probably because I doubt you're going to get this finished anytime soon. Um, this is one of my little tricks here is taking a half slab and putting it around somewhere just to break two areas up because using the same block all the time it can look very tall if you don't break it up and it also adds a bit of dimension. And then you can see there what I just did again with the slabs at the bottom, going back to referencing the picture, I added the slabs at the bottom just to give it the effect of actually being connected and looking like it was slanting up as opposed to just being a straight underneath. Um, yeah and then this is where I decided to add a little bit more structure and a little bit more shape, uh, cutting into the side there in the centre um, and just bringing it a little bit more there. Now I decided at this point that the right hand side was just about finished, I didn't want it to over go 
up and hide the chimney. I wanted the chimney to be very prevalent and still be visible. Um, and there you go, you can see me putting in my a couple of windows here and there. Um, yeah, and then filling in a couple of the floors and stuff. Uh, yeah, there you go, you can see me bringing that back now so that there's actually a bit of a divot in there. Just to add a bit more of an effect. Um, and then adding some more half slabs and stairs just to give the effect of... Um, I forget what it's called, but like slating and stuff like that that you'd have on the side of the house. Uh, just to break up, say, the first layer and the second layer. Uh, adding another apex roof, which I found I really like those apex roofs really like those um this is me trying to spend like 10 minutes because he really he loves having pot of plant style things out the front of his house i find them extremely difficult to do for some reason um but what i do is i put some half slabs and then i put some slab i put some half slabs on uh some blocks on either side then a half slab then two blocks up front leaving one box space for the grass um there you go, now I'm trying to, even though this is a huge space, I am going to be cutting it down quite a lot um, and squaring it off into rooms. So I wanted to try and add a lot of windows because even though it is a massive build, I filled in a lot of the spaces. Of course you don't have to do that, you can use it for whatever you want. But the way I was thinking about going about doing this, I really didn't want to leave anywhere um, looking gappy so i was filling in a lot of spaces but also opening a lot of windows up um this tower i wasn't too sure what to do with because it was very tall but at the same time it was also um off center oh and then you can see i'm adding some stuff to the windows some uh, trap doors just to give it effective uh window shutters like you would have on a house like this uh here i was messing around trying to make this like more textured more uh, not quite spherical but um, tile roof like I decided to change that panel there because I didn't really like how that panel was sitting it stuck out too much um, and it also made the roof an odd shape um, and then I took the roof and I added a little bit there I removed that later on just because I don't really like the bulb shape that it gives but here you can see that I'm bringing this up a little bit more. I take in one of the blocks again to give some texture and shape to the back of the house. Um, Green is very, very adamant about making sure that you have plenty of shape in your house. Otherwise it just looks boring and boxy and it's not as aesthetically pleasing. Which is true. It's even in real life. No one wants to look at a crappy boxy house. They want to look at the cool slanted roof fucking underground shit uh you can see i'm trying to take that central pillar up really high and having a couple of problems trying to get the logs to sit and then i realized that i could half do half of it and take the other half up um i had some more glass windows i'm using white stained glass mostly because that's what green used um in preference I probably would have used some clear glass for the um, single windows and then the white stained glass for double windows just because, again, my personal taste. Uh, and then I'm going around just adding, yeah, adding another one, but I decided to do it. Yeah, again, you can see it took me just as long to figure out how to do it on that one. Because um, I was having a lot of problems. Um, you can see that I'm trying to figure out how to do it, so... You can see that there's now a, a half block gap there, uh, which I realised, so I took it forward one block like I had in that one. And there you go, it looked right. So I was trying to work out if I could connect those up, and then I decided that, nah, it didn't look right. Um, I was messing around trying to figure out what to do with this bit here because I noticed that it looked really bare so I just added a little bit more of a roof to it, uh, made it look a bit more connected. Uh, then I took some oak logs and just in that little gap there just to give it another bit of texture. 
I just plop that down. Uh, that hole gets filled in in a bit, don't worry, I'm not leaving the skylight. That wouldn't fit with the theme of this house, unfortunately. A skylight would be very cool, but it just wouldn't fit. So I decided to add some more windows there. I think I later turned that into a enchantment room. Uh, here I was trying to figure out what I was doing with this window. Uh, I turned it into like a little overhanging one because I thought that looked nice. Uh, and then adding some half slabs just to fill it in a bit more. You, and this is again why I'm saying about using those half slabs and staircases to add the impact of breaking up an area because you can kind of tell where the rooms want to be based on where you have those slabs and stuff like that. I do it a lot in most of my builds. Um, here I was trying to get a good shape, uh, fill in, like this is where I start filling in more stuff uh, just because I wanted to have that effect of a clean and tidy looking area. I didn't want it to be a block here, a block there. I probably could have removed more blocks and made it more spacious, but the way I'd built it I wasn't too sure. Um, and here I decided to do something that uh, Green hadn't done. I wanted to make some staircases that went outside of the um, the outside of the building because I thought it gave it that effect of being slightly old, slightly more um, messed with, more homely kind of feel. Um, uh, messing around with the staircases, trying to just make them look even. Uh, I'd probably go back and change that if I was going to do this again. Uh, just make it look a bit neater, maybe use some half slabs or something. Um, that's me trying to figure out where to put some lanterns. Decided to fill that bit in because I thought it looked weird, but... Um, and I realised I needed to move it on one, so that's just what I did. Um, there you go. And that step looks a little bit odd in our place, but it then it distincts it from not being on the roof and it yeah, actually being the staircase instead. Um, and it met at that point that I'd already done a small staircase on the inside, but because uh, I miss I misstepped where I was needing to place it. But you know what? I, I thought it worked out well. I had another staircase. Um, yeah, I had another staircase there because I really really like the idea of having like more than one don't know why it just it was really interesting to me the idea of having a staircase just being built into your house uh, and then I decided I wanted to come there uh, I had to move that window that you, you see that one that single block wide window just because when I was putting the floor in, I realised that that wasn't going to work. Uh, then I took my sweet time just filling in those blocks, which did my head in. Um, and then I also think, do I do it now or do I do it in a bit? I went, oh this is when I was lighting everything up, and then I, yeah, then I realised that that window was going to be in the wrong place. So I just shifted it slightly. Um, and put the roof down and this became a nice closed off area which I think I turned that into a bedroom later on. Um, I added, yeah originally I was going to do some more half slabs um, but then I realised that I could use trapdoors instead. Then I realised that instead of having them on the thing I could actually place a block down have them up and then they would stand just outside so they wouldn't be taking up that space especially if you've got multiple people you don't want to be crowding up there and missing that couple of millimeters uh, I was messing around here trying to make this match up and I just tidied it up added a thing there um, I do plop a staircase down here yeah um, it took me a little while just to figure out where I needed to actually be on this staircase, but once I had it, it looked quite nice. Uh, I decided to do a couple of stairs inverted on each other to give a really nice effect 
Um, I just thought that the open circle type thing looked smart and then I didn't like the small one so I just added a stair there. Uh, a step uh, block there. Uh, there I had a window um, and plucked down the trapdoor so that you can still get there from underneath but you can also um, you know open that so that you can use that stairway. Uh, this was where I was having a bit of trouble um, because I realised that I'd missed on the roof slightly on this bit. It should have been um, that should have been an extra block and then it should have been one more out. Uh, I decided that instead of using a bubble elevator which seemed very innovative and new I would go for ladders just because it seemed more fitting to something like this. Um, and then I just extend that a little bit more so that I could have like a window, uh, an indoor patio, an upstairs patio window kind of situation. Um, I'd probably go back and adjust those for half slabs, um, up to personal taste really. I was going to do a little bit more but then I decided you know what this will be tall enough. Uh, this is going to be enough of a struggle for like not a group of people. Um, like what I was thinking of doing. Uh, you can see my roof there is slightly overlapping with that first roof at the front and there is just a tiny gap with that roof at the back. I really like that. Just the way that it, um, they hug each other but you can still see the definition, the definitive gap between them. I think it just looks really smart. Uh, and then I'm adding some more spruce trapdoors. Now personally I would go for uh, either spruce trapdoors or um, I forgot what the other one is but uh, for a build like this spruce trapdoors are definitely a good one and I honestly can't remember what the other one is that I normally use but I normally use another one as well if I'm going for slightly more wooden but still modern and you can see that I'm going back and fixing that roof because I was despising that spherical shape that I'd given it so I went around and I added a just this a half slab layer and then just to tidy it up a little bit I also went over that half slab layer because even though you're not going to see it the effect is still there so I just felt like it wasn't it still looked a bit too rounded instead of the old and square kind of style like the rest of this house uh, you can see me trying to figure out what to do with this building I decided to shorten the roof down in this little section here, um, close up that top bit there. Of course you don't have to do that but just because of the way that I decided to style this. Um, and then I thought about doing something there but then I just put a half slab there to you know tie it up, get rid of a bit of wasted space. Um, and here I was thinking about adding another window, uh, which I did. I decided to put it at floor level instead of a block up just because I thought it would look a bit better all in all. Um, now at this point it's actually quite dark but I was pretty much done so I went around and started lighting it up. Um, now he used lanterns and I must admit since they brought lanterns in they have become my favourite, favourite thing to use for lighting even though they don't have the most lighting. They are definitely the most attractive, especially for an olden style house like this. Um, I just, I really like it. Um, yeah, I don't really know what else to say here to be honest. I was doing this just to make sure that uh, people would understand that you'd need to light the outside of this up because if you go away like overnight to do some adventuring or whatever you are very quickly going to end up having mobs spawn all over your roof. Um, and I decided that that was good enough. So then I went in and I started filling in where I wanted my floors to be. Now I had kind of already basically printed them out uh, using... Um, I, I'd already kind of had a good idea of what I wanted to do. Um, I was going to put my staircase there but I decided I wanted a more central one. I'd possibly change that depending on like how many people you're working with in a group. If you're on your own you can kind of put it wherever you want or you can change it to a ladder, you know, have it at the central back so that you have more room to mess with but I decided to go for a bit more of a decorative thing again with that, that nice little 
uh, circle type thing there um, and then just lighten this up, filling that back in. I decided to continue with the central staircase kind of ordeal um, but I decided I wanted it to follow along uh, there. I was trying to work out where this needed to go to actually go up properly um, yeah, and then I realised I could just do that. I changed that later for a half slab to give us a bit more, no, I changed it to a, yeah, I changed it to a half slab a little bit later on to give a bit more impression. That was for decoration, I decided I didn't like those extra stairs there. Um, I originally put a two book gap down there, but then I decided I could just do a stair uh, a staircase that actually followed along properly. Uh, slightly later on. Here I was fiddling around with this, trying to decide what to do, and then I decided to put some internal um, stairs, inverted stairs, just because it looked quite, it looked like the kind of place where you'd want inverted stairs. <laughs> yeah, then I got sick of like having to step back onto a block, um, and again this is one of those bits where I said you could probably make it more roomy if you didn't do what I just did, but yeah, I did it anyway. Um, I then quickly get rid of that window. I think I put it back slightly later on. Um, yeah, I had, I had the window one block down, um, which then put a block. I hadn't realised that when I'd been until that point, because um, of course I hadn't really planned out where all my rooms were going to be and everything. So that was kind of a unhappy accident. Um, I was trying to work out where I could mess around here, like giving a bit more space to jump and such. Um, I feel sorry for all the bats I had beat up in this goddamn video. Um, yeah, I had some more stairs, staircases here, again, just to try and fill in a bit more room. Um, yeah, and then I, as I said, I changed that to a half slab and get rid of that just to offer as much room as I possibly can. I was going to do a staircase there, but then I decided to just wall it off, um, give it a nice little effect. Uh, I was having a problem trying to fit all my lighting in here properly, um, so I just decided to put two down, uh, debating on it for like ten minutes. Um, and then from here out I just lit everything up with lanterns. You'll probably do torches as well. Um, yeah, you could probably do torches as well and they'd look just as nice in a build like this. Um, especially if you're playing in survival mode, they're probably going to be easier to attain. Um, here, again, you can see me adding those inverted steps just to add a bit more shape to the inside of the build. Because you don't just want the outside to be shapeful, you want the inside to be shapeful as well. Like, as you can see, I've got that apex on the inside as well. Uh, I'm just running around checking all the areas are lit up before I start decorating. Um, and slightly destroying my build in the process. <laughs> so, there you go. That is the outside pretty much all done. Uh, I decided to go in. I went for, because I feel like... Uh, wood goes nice with water, but I don't know why. I was going to do a bell, but then I realised I hadn't really left anywhere for a bell to go. Um, and I was going to do a nice little trick, but then I realised I screwed it up. So I just went for a more simple technique of uh, bringing all of my fences together through the top. Um, I'd normally do some like nice little fence posts, but by this point I was kind of fed up, so I just went for, uh, instead of doing my regular sign posts, I just went for some fence posts over top. I, and to keep with his theme, I went for some sweet berry bushes, um, because he has these out to the left hand side of his house. Still don't know why. Um, <laughs> I add, uh, later on when I'm decorating, I also had a painting there, I would need to go around and open the door out on the back, so forgive me for not doing that preemptively because I'm a bit bothered. Um, 
I was also using the same flower and somehow I managed to miss one of the things on the left hand side which I knew I had missed, I just didn't know where it was so I gave up looking for it. Um, but I realised that putting all of the same flower looked a bit boring so I instead uh, I changed it around. Now you can see that I shut that door when I really should have left it open but whatever. Um, everywhere else is kind of open to exploration, there aren't any doors or anything, you could probably add some or something. Uh, I used dark oak just because again it's a nice contrast to all the spruce that is already there and I think it would look a bit weird if you have a spruce door and spruce trap doors for your shutters because then it looks like your door is a shutter which isn't half wrong but I didn't like it. Uh, then you can see me working out the idea and then I was going to go around and open it and I couldn't be bothered. Uh, oh there you go, no I do open it. Um, I kind of added a couple of chests down here and I think, yeah I get some heads as well. Um, and I moved those around, I decided to put the dragon and the wither head over the campfire, the fireplace sorry, just because I thought that looked a little bit nicer. Still didn't realise at this point that I was actually wearing the skeleton head that I'd originally grabbed. Um, and then down here I did a <laughs> ender chest and a carpenter block because I don't really think that everybody's going to be needing a carpenter block. Uh, you know, uh, sorry, cartography table. Uh, the second floor I decided to turn into a storage area. These are all over the place. This is not normally how I'd have my chest set up, but I needed to do something with the space because it was the largest available space. Uh, then you can see I'm just going around splashing paintings everywhere to give this place some colour because it looked so drab to me. Uh, then I went and plopped down a music box um, just because I thought, you know, I, I would have put some like chairs down or something now that I think about it. I would have put some, you know, staircases with some signs on the side or classic chairs uh, next to the windows. I don't know why I didn't think about doing that earlier. Uh, it's because I've been using a mod that gives you chairs and I was doing this in normal Minecraft. Uh, then I ran upstairs, I decided this is going to be the first bedroom uh, and kind of like a halfway point to the house. So. This is going to be the main smelter crafting kind of, you know, this dude gets quite a few chests and shit uh, and he's also the closest to the crafting table and stuff. Now I went for blue here and both in the bed and the carpet because I wanted it to be slightly different in each area. Uh, this one gets a, oh yeah, enchanting table, this small room, because small rooms are good for enchanting tables, you know, they don't require much space and then a ton of bookshelves which probably isn't how you meant to have it set up. But whatever. I also added some more bookshelves uh, here and there, just you know, for a bit more colour, a bit more, um, just a bit more decoration. Because I really didn't like how bland the colour palette is. I'm normally used to building in very bright colours and giving everybody that looks at them a headache. Um, then I went for a full cyan style room with a cup, uh, with a set of chests and a crafting table I think I give them in the end. I was going to put another smelting area here but then I decided against it. Uh, I didn't really like how it looked with everything so I just left them a crafting table and some bookshelves because everyone needs a crafting table and everyone needs some books. Um, and then I added another double bed but with blue stuff there and up here I went for a double bed but no carpets. Well, I said every room was going to be different, didn't I? And if I'd have put carpet in there. But I was trying to keep it also the same colour frame. <sighs> so I added, I changed some of the flowers around because uh, I decided I didn't like it all being the same colour. And then I added a sweet berry bush like Green had done originally. And <sighs> that is the build finished. Now I don't have any fancy, um, you know, things to help watch it as I'm building it and move in and out as I need it. So you do only get it from a first person perspective. This probably took me a couple, well, uh, three, four hours in creative. 
So it took me a while. Oh, there you can you can just see my little pug wall in the background. Definitely not trying to plug that into in one of my other videos that went up uh, the other week. Um, <laughs> I really fell in love with doing this build because it was kind of out my comfort zone. I don't tend to do um, classic or fancy style buildings. I tend to go for more modern style shit. Um, but I really did enjoy building this. There are a couple things that I'd probably do different next time, but besides that, uh, I, I really did enjoy building this, and um, I would like to say thank you to Green, even though he's never going to watch this. <laughs> um, I'd like to say thank you to him for giving me the in inspiration to do this, um, to redesign or more so take a design that he's done and give it a bit of my style and a bit more practicality perhaps um and i was just yeah i was very happy with how this turned out and there are one or two things that i would like to change but I, i'm really happy with this so thank you for watching if you liked it then like and subscribe and make sure to hit that Follow button. Nope, that's the wrong thing. Anyway, goodbye. <laughs>